Bombs, one butt stuff, still the best name of any of you I've ever had. So long run, you'll notice we're using the fasting seals. It means we can leave all the food behind. Not only saves us a lot of inventory space, but saves us a fair amount of money as well. I want to take a fair amount actually. Sweet. Okay. Long veteran run, only 25% scouting chance. But I'm betting on needing to have the virtue chance. If I only take the one, is it really worth it? But if I do that, then I have to leave behind. Well, yeah. The thing is, if I take the, the other one and, and one person gets super high on stress. So they need to have both trinket slots with virtue chance, but then they lose the bonus from fasting seal. I'm not going to have... Not a perk, it's the trinkets, it's the fasting seals. So my understanding is if everyone has fasting seals right from the start, and you don't move them out of that slot, then you can actually just fast, and you still get the healing and the resolve buff. Realist advance... Nice. And spawn buffing with invigorating vapors, pumping up the heels. We're only going to do four to five divine comfort, which is. Glad we got the fasting seal. This is a long, long run. We're not going to do a dock. A handsome reward for a task well performed. And team, you all look great wearing red, I must say. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it's start must be carried home. Head start. This being a champion level run, I worry about all the stress we're gonna have to deal with. Ed, don't be surprised. Oh yes! And there, a faint hope blossoms. Dodge numbers 39, 29. Not bad. Stun, please stun. Yeah. This Fusilier is more irritating than super dangerous. It's the cutthroat that's a real danger. Surges as the enemy crumbles. No confusion. Nerves. Okay, and six panic. heal. That's very good. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. What? Honestly, we might as well camp pretty soon just to get the torch light up and to get some combat and scouting buffs. Uh, let's see here. Explore rooms. Go that way. I have to use a shovel. Fine with that. It'll let me dodge that fight. The darkness holds much worse than Aha! trickery. You actually and heal from fasting. Excellent. A fortune. Waiting to be spent. Uh, we're leaving all heirlooms behind. This is purely money. I want 50,000 gold out of this run. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Uh. Damage buff until camp. Camp and come back and then hit it. A 
as the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Seeing that kind of thing with the damage to camp makes me consider not even camping at all throughout the whole dungeon. Because I mean, plus 30% damage for the rest of the run on the Hellion could be amazing. See how long the damage and accuracy buff lasts is it until combat or is it for turns four rounds okay Ouch. not stuck in that dodge people 56 dodge means nothing is broken. Maintain the offensive. Uh, two, five speed. Press this advantage. Give them no power. Women. What a class. Overall, I'd say it's more useful than my favorite class, the bounty hunter. But when it comes to gigantic hits, Gigantic damage. You you just you can't beat the uh, Oh dude. The, day -to -day. the uh the southern DLC is gonna be amazing. I I just did a review. Let's see if it's processed. Processed. Make it visible. Yeah, I can't wait to use the alchemist. It's gonna be so good. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Okay, so we're gonna camp once. We are going to manage stress, and then probably throw away the last firewood. We're gonna go back and get a damage buff on most likely the highwayman. Our time ambush. Damage in one. Good for battle. Opinion, accuracy and dodge. That's fine, I do actually. In radiance, may we find victory. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. 30% damage until camp, so we probably we'll, 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 we'll hang on to the firewood, but most likely we'll end up not using it. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I predict we're probably going to end up getting rid of this dodgy sheath. I mean, it's 1750 gold, but then we stack up to 2500s. Another sacred vest, sacred scroll. Anything less than onyx, I don't think I would bother with. Seventy percent. Nice luck. If we could hit a secret room, I'd be so pleased. Go back for that cure. Well, let's find some more rubies.
Yeah, so clearly we are gonna have to start dropping supply items up. I think the least valuable supply items you've ever been. Ooh, that's nasty. What do we kill first? Yeah, the gargoyles, I'd say. Oh, but I can't go to position one. Let's see if we can increase the crits receive chance. Ah, should we drink blood? And improvement. Bitch. Stunned? It can definitely be stunned. Yes, boys! Oh, clutch dodge. Keep hitting the invigorating vipers. Up to how much dodge? 18 dodge, 28 dodge. A single strike. That's 19 crit through, 40% damage uh, reduction. Seven hit points. A hmm. victory. Perhaps the turning point. Sixty one dodge. Seventy seven dodge. Eighty percent stun resist. Hundred and thirty base, so it's still a fifty percent chance to stun. Buff resist, let's make it less accurate. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Yes, boys. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Down to two shovels, and we have a long way to go still. One. Come on, team. Big dodges. Big dodge. Easy game. Ah I did, Mizuma, a little while ago. Another abomination. Cleansed Think about looking at it again, but there's too many games to play. I want to play Stone Shard. Stone Shard demo looks amazing, and I just bought the full Stone Shard game. These nightmares. Today. I think I might play it a bit after lunch. They can be beaten. Probably means I need to abandon the Phoenix Point playthrough. Darkness closes in. You know, I need to wrap up this playthrough. Men. I need healing. We're gonna fight this dark, we may as well. No, you fool. Actually, that's what I wanted. I wanted him to move forward. That's the setup they should be in. Okay, that was great. Hmm, perfect. Dodge and dodge. <laughs> Destroyed. I'll talk to you soon, but the lads are doing outstanding work. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. 
Probably drop medicinal herbs. Secrets when we get into a room fight, we'll start lighting torches. Tenebrous corners of this place. Damn it. That such missteps are the exception oh, tired. and not the rule. Almost tempted to just turn around after hitting this obstacle. Let's hit those rooms. These fasting seals are amazing for these long runs. And we haven't had to carry any food. And when we camp, we got the full benefit of a feast. Wealth beyond measure. And you can still eat food that you find. And the foolhardy alike. Um, I might dip back into Battletech playing offline. I want to do a all laser thing. My uh, lasers. <laughs> I did find that the missiles were OP. That'll take that stabilization. Okay, I just felt like streaming. Also, I know that tonight my regular stream starts. I'm playing Dota and no one's going to watch, so I'll at least do it but during the day when someone might be interested. And anyway, I needed episodes for Darkest Dungeon for the YouTube channel. Tomorrow night we'll do more... Uh, more Battle Brothers. I think we need to go try the Black Monolith. We're gonna go get absolutely wrecked by the Black Monolith. But I wanna see how far away from being able to do it we are. We'll take all our two-handed weapons. We have a bunch of Bardishas. So we should be able to use split attacks. Hopefully take care of those legionaries. But I don't know if I'm going to take an archer or not into the black monolith. Maybe not. But dealing with a priest is going to be a challenge. Days Ow. Reeling. About to break. Yeah, I haven't even tried to fight black monolith, but I know it's going to be absolutely miserable. Another one falls. You say fatigue can be a problem, what we might actually do is spend a couple of uh, hours just grinding uh, fatigue recovery potions. Or if I really want to cheese it, I could wait until 1.4 update comes out, because that's going to be a big buff. We'll be able to take the fatigue recovery potions before the battle starts and have that extra fatigue recovery for the entire battle. Most likely we'll try it on Monday night, we'll fail, and then we'll go back into it after 1.4 is out. lucky i think our black monolith is going to be mountainous rocky the match is struck i don't think Blazing it's in the swamp for us is born. i starch Good damage. I feel like camping would be a mistake. <clears throat> it's gonna remove this 30% damage. That's so good. 
4 to 8 damage, 5 hit points, 7 hit points. I think, spun by, you've just been kind of unlucky with where it spawned. Pene with a casual 22% repost crit. Masterfully executed. This team comp is amazing. I'm loving this. Grievous injury. I mean, if it wasn't for the priests, How fighting in the forest could help you a lot because you funnel those uh, honor gods. But I do kind of wonder whether with the priest I want at least archer, one archer. I mean, admittedly, the archer does less damage but doesn't do zero damage. As you could probably still mark. wear them down. So too will resistance. Like a five, so five thousand two hundred and fifty. Five thousand five hundred. Oh yes, we've got holy water. Oh, baby, that's big. We needed that. I had some luck last night. I had such a crazy game with huge luck swings in Blood, blood Bowl. My really rude rats were playing against a chorf team. And... By turn three, he had injured two of my rats and knocked out four of them. And I managed to get a touchdown on his drive on the first half. Then he knocked out a fifth rat. Then during the halftime break, out of the five KO rolls, only one woke up. But I managed to hold him to a draw. I was quite pleased. Under the circumstances, I was pleased. Five twenty five. Okay. I was the Stenograde maths person. Uh, mathematics is not not my strong suit. Executed with impunity. English and biology were always my subjects. And there. Uh, this highwayman is consistently out damaging the Hellion. Not something you see all that often. It's very few classes that can out damage the Hellion. Blow. But I think a lot of it is that 30% damage to camp. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Enchantress. I think I should maybe start debuffing the. Minus 14 accuracy. Excellent. I wish Renee was quicker though. So interesting, not everyone got hit with horror. Apparently it can be dodged. Just that war has big stress. Touch dodge. Arms beyond, no. What I'm watching with keen interest, Stone Shard. I'm loving Stone Shard. A decisive pummeling. Four more hit points. Ah, oh, it's... Uh, three by one, three by two. 
prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Time is it? Get some lunch soon. I can do another hour. Please tell me, yes, we have holy water. That should take a lot of stress away. Ah! Uh. The light, the promise of safety. Hmm. Yeah. Damn it, Spunk Boy. This is yet another game I don't have time to play. Too many good games, not enough time. Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Am is my all-time favorite game. Annihilated. Other than Dota, of course. Dodgy bastards. Hey, I like your dodge, but the miss there it comes. Well, speaking of it being ten months away, it's one of the struggles of being a gamer these day, days, especially being someone who wants to produce content. You never know when you got to get in because you don't want to get in too early because the game isn't ready and it sucks and it's not fun. But you also, but if you get in too late, then you miss most of the interest and frustrating. He dodged with you dodge. One dodge, very nice. Doesn't have the if in position one. Missing a lot. That's better. Damage is not bad for an antiquarian. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Where's my stress? Oh, there we go. There's my stress. I think what's killing her is the uh, stress of torch above. Look at this. Liger, Liger and finger phobia. Keep Altard in the light to sweet spot. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Oh, Orton Dodge. Oh. That's well done. Kill this little fucker right here. He dodged though. Five percent monster hits. Stun plus torch. No. find another one of those damage statues would have been so useful for the helium this little fuck is probably gonna get his reinforcements off Let's see if we can stun him
Yes! Very nice. Hit points, four to seven, four, five, six, seven. Fifty percent chance to kill if it hits. Max damage, nice. Nice. This expedition. This counts invitation, I think we actually success. need. Elton has the plus virtue chance tentacle. How quickly the time. <laughs> Here we go, Elton. Big virtue. Come on. It's like. Problem with only taking one of the virtue items, it's super likely to work. And now that it's failed, it's useless. These little things are such ball bags, which is ironic because they don't have ball bags. Ugh. Actually, I think a madman is probably worse, though. The madman does the whole, you know, whole squad. Oh, beautiful. What a combo, these two. Match made in heaven. I don't have a protection lowering. Right. Hence the damage buff. Oof, ouch. Dumbass. is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Oh, it's not too bad with the protection, only 33%. Yes! The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Dodges make me so happy. Profit-wise, that's pretty good. Five and a half. Plus ten thousand. Thousand. Five. Thirty. It's a lot, but it's. But I mean, we do need the sacred scroll and the scouts. You start licking in, licking in, locking in particular quirks for particular characters so that I can have specialists. I want uh, to reinforce the buffs that classes already have, like the Crusader being good against uh, Unholy. If any of my Crusaders or my Vestals get Unholy Hater, then I want them to play with it. It'll reinforce the fact that they hate Unholy. Death 
waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Let me see these dodges. A yes. Blow. Oh, healing's not enough. Oh, sweet. So, so these two idiots are just gonna alternate doing bayonet jabs. Point blank. I should actually kill this corpse. I was gonna say easy dodge, but this thing easy dodged. Yeah. More money. Here we go. Ah. Right. Let's count our cash. And sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to the Red Caucus. Need to death by Crimson Curse is great if you combine it with the uh, fasting mantra, which gives you buffs when wasting away. Let's see, so we got 48, 49,000. Yeah. So we got 50,000 together with the crystal. Nice of his good. No, I do still need a bunch of heirlooms. Ooh. The greatest Only one of these soldiers can be returned to the living. Did you see Rolford, which is my favorite one to get back? FS, the Plague Doctor, or Chobo, the Arbalest. Am I going to have to re. I need the healer. I need. Did you see Rolford? There's a lot of dead dudes. One, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, twenty-five. Yeah, we've all died. So it's there's a death like one in three missions. Dreadful. But what what didn't help was those two squad wipes against the Baron. Around week 44 and week 45. So. Which, which class do I want more of? What do we have here? We've got two lepers. Great. One hellion. I think I might want another crusader. Two, two healers. I think I should get rid of one of the occultists. I don't need that many. That'll free up another offensive lad. Orleville. Here we go. This one to journey elsewhere. Another hounds master. For we have need of sterner stock. We'll keep looking every week for level three. He desist. Crap. Uh, I think the sanitarium is what I want to complete next. 60 busts, 38.
Paranormal Mania we have to get rid of. Vagilant, that's fine. Ruminator, fine. Winded, Thanatophobia. Give a low. Stress heal. I think Winded and Thanatophobia I need to get rid of. Diseases, anyone? Is the most stressed. Altard. But definitely that removed. And then like Rene, we can take out again, but we'll just give him the double virtue trinkets. Oh well done, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little ways away from those achievements, but I think I think because I modded it, I broke the achievements. A lot of games when you when you mod them the achievements are fucked. Were you playing modded? I hope so. If you were, then hopefully I can do the same thing. Okay, we need to keep grinding through the estate unless there's another mission that's particularly good or with a particularly good reward. Chance party surprise, chance oh, that's really good. For Docker's Dungeon, no mods, but for Battle Brothers, there's a there's a bunch of them. Use exclamation mark BB mods. Ancestor's Handkerchief. Bleed and Disease Resist. That's actually pretty amazing. I give it to one of the lepers. Because Bleed and Disease Resist. That's a long wield run. We could do another money run. But that's a champion long one. Uh, this is also great. Accuracy, range, skills, and speed. If you combine that with the eyeball, that's a total of plus 30 accuracy and plus 6 speed. Wow. I think it's BB mods with an S on the end. Don't need either of those two. Dark tambourine, death bow resist. And let's go back into the estate. Who do we take with us into the estate? Hound's master is always good in the estate. As is a Man. What makes a better healer? Actually, Vagilant makes the best healer. And Mosh Main could actually be good with a bunch of... I think I want to try... A bunch of Plague. Blight, a bunch of Blight. Blight and Bleed Resist and some Emboldening Vapors. Attack, attack, mark, low protection. This isn't the shooting setup, this is the melee attack set. This advance, point blank, open vein. Damn, JDC Rawford has to be leveled up again. But I mean, we got him back from death, so I can't complain. Expensive. We'll be done, fortunately. Oof, all our money. Malignant mantle. Bubonic. Thunder and lightning. Uncatchable. Doorbringer. Oh man, right. Right, so what do I want for a bait run? Trinkets wise. I think I want the plus healing, which I can plus healing. There's actually a healing collar that he's got. I don't have Mercurial Self, I do Damage V Bloodsuckers. I think we'll give that to Chandos though. And Chandos can take Scouting Chance. Which accuracy first marked? 
like a crit, of, uh, crit and dodge if I'm bloodlusting, hell yes. Uh, damage v Eldritch speed and stun skill chance versus bloodsuckers. I think in that case then I leave Boldening Vapors and on turn one I can always almost always stun positions three and four. Is there a plus blight chance item? Accuracy melee. Yep. Forget it. This is too good. The incision is it's just too good. Size uh, bolden stun Sorient clear corpses bite bite god yep heal 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 good sugar anything afternoon I should say I want dodge for Dolmar my best dodge option. Eight dodge plus one speed. But what's the stress chance? Should not take a virtue chance. Or we should take virtue chance items. There is a tentacle and the virtue ring. Always look, I always overlook the virtue ring. Okay, camping skills, we're not going to camp, that's fine. Camping level 5. Do one invitation, we've got 6, so that's fine. Go 4 antivenoms, 4 medicinal herbs. All food is probably enough. Or shovels. Bandages uh, is used for interacting with those little bone piles, but they give crap rewards anyway. Medicinal herbs we've got. Skeleton key only two. Holy water only two. A full set of laudanum, fine. Torches, I think four. And the blood, we can actually take a bunch of blood. Have so much of it. And you get good trinkets doing the blood. Okay, for tubers for watching on YouTube, we'll take a little break when we come back. Oh. <clears throat> Into the courtyard.